Hey, what's up guys? This is my episode 5 of the best Android apps for 2014. If you have not been through the previous episodes, the link to it is in the description. So without any further ado, let's begin. The first app on my list is Time Pin. Basically, this is a security app which acts as the pin lock screen where you need to enter your pin code to unlock your device. But the cool thing here is that with this app, you can use your current time or date as your pin code. So first let me just show it to you how it exactly works. So guys as you can see the time is 1931. I need to enter 1931 to unlock the device. So the advantage with this app is that even if someone watches you unlocking your device, the very next minute they will be unable to unlock your device because the pin will be automatically changed the very next minute. So let's wait for a minute. So now as you can see the time is 1932. So I need to enter 1932 and hit OK. So this will unlock the device. So similarly, you can do this with the date as well. So to configure this app, you need to give a master pin code first. And from here, you can enable time pin if you want to use your current time as your passcode. Else you can enable date pin to use the current date to unlock your device. And over here, you see this pebble mode. This is for smartwatches only. And under additional settings, you have got default pin changing option, notification options, fail safe, that is if you fail to unlock the device within three times, you need to give your master passcode and remove pin. So a very cool security app to unlock your device. The next app here is dial app. This is a dialer application, but not the regular dialer app that you think. It has got some really cool features like tiny contacts, theming, etc. So first of all, if you make a call through this dialer app, you get the default call screen, even though the UI of this app is similar to stock Android. Talking about the features at the top, you can search for any of your saved contacts or search for nearby locations. For example, if I search for bakery nearby me, it will give me a list of bakeries nearby. Over here, I just need to tap on the bakery that I want to contact and the call will be automatically placed. So that's a really cool feature. You can also use your voice commands to call and search any of your contacts or locations. The next cool thing that you get with this app is magic list. This is the most frequently contacted contacts tab for easier access. To remove any unwanted contacts from the magic list, tap and hold on the contacts and select this icon. Then you have tiny contacts, which is another great add-on to this app. Tiny contacts lets you save contacts for a temporary period and you can define the expiry date for that contact so that it will be automatically removed after that time. The contacts removed from the magic list appears on the screened contacts. Lastly, we have theming options. That means you can apply various themes onto your dialer. Let me just show you a few of them. So guys, a great replacement app for stock Android users and in case if you are not using the stock Android, and want a change, this app is just perfect for you. The next one here is Darker. This app actually controls your brightness levels. Even at the lowest brightness, using your phone at night, maybe for using Facebook or reading ebooks, you wish you could just decrease the brightness level to comfort your eyes. So with this app, you can decrease your brightness to your desired level. Have a look. You also have got color filter options. You can choose any color you want and then enable the color filter as you can see here. You also have this option to keep the status bar on the default brightness without changing the screen brightness. So great app to manually configure your brightness levels to comfort your eyes as the default brightness levels is not always optimal for all the situations. The next one here is Drippler. Drippler is the best way to stay updated on latest news about your device. News regarding software updates, top apps and games, upcoming flagships, how to use different features and hidden features, etc. It is the best app to stay updated on what's new and what's important for your smartphone. It pull downs news from the best tech websites, chooses the one that's important and notifies you every day on important news for your device. Once you start this app for the first time, it automatically detects your device, analyzes your device, serial number, software version, etc. Then it asks whether you like games or not. Then it takes you to a list of important news and events for your device. 
Here you can choose from your drips to all drips, news and tips, even apps and games. You can search from the articles by tapping here. To read any article, tap on any of them and here you can read the article by scrolling down. At the bottom you have options to directly go to the website or source of that article. At the top you have options to bookmark the article as your favorite, like the article, share the article and options to go to settings for changing the notification period, display font sizes and so on. So a best app to stay updated for your device regarding apps and games, software updates, rumors, leaks, accessories, etc. So a must have app for any Android user. The next app here is the Gallery Vault. This is like a private gallery app. This app allows you to manage your private pictures, videos, audio files, documents, etc. As we all know, we also can use app like AppLock which can lock any app you want. But the thing is, people can find that there's something fishy on your phone. So with this app, nobody can find that you are using a vault. So how that is done, let me just show it to you. You can first create your passcode to access it. And over here, you can add all your private pictures, documents, or whatever you have. Once done, you can go on to settings and enable hide icon. So what this will do is this will hide the icon from the app drawer so that nobody can find that you are using any private gallery app or something like that. Now to access the gallery vault, go on to your dialer and type hash hash and your pin code and hit call. There you go guys. Now you can tap on the add button to add your pictures, videos and other media files. And under settings, you have backup and restore options, unhide all. This will unhide all the pictures that you have on the vault, change passcode and so on. So a great app for managing all your private files without letting others know about it. The next one here is the Dolphin Browser. Dolphin Browser is a web browser for your Android. This browser comes with many cool features and a very easy to use user interface. Browsing with this app is also very minimal, fast and uses very less data. Once you start this app, you get a browser very similar to that of the desktop. You can easily open new tabs and close tabs like that on the computer browsers. Below that, you have the space for your bookmarks, favorite pages and your mostly visited pages. Over here, you can also create folders for your bookmarks by tapping and holding the web icon and placing it on top of the other one. Swiping left will bring the bookmarks and if you swipe to the right, you can view add-ons of this application. Here you can enable or disable the full screen mode. You have different theming options. You can choose wallpaper for the background. You can add your own wallpapers from your gallery or you can simply choose plain colors from here. You also can apply various skins as well. You have Wi-Fi broadcasting which allows you to share a web page with other devices connected to the same Wi-Fi. You also have got desktop mode for using this browser on the desktop mode. You can also add additional add-ons from the Dolphin's own store for different add-ons. At the bottom, you have this tab for managing tabs, gesture and options. Now another coolest feature of this app is that you can define your own gesture for launching different web pages. Like F for Facebook, G for Google and so on. So here I have defined few gestures, so I can launch this feature by tapping here or moving the slider. Now if I draw F like I defined, it directly launches the facebook.com. Next we have a voice assistive feature called Sonar, from which you can save your device and you can speak to launch any web pages. After gesture, we have options for sharing the page, downloads, settings, shutting down and so on. Moving on to the settings, we have settings for language, user agent where you can change the user agent to other mobile devices, search engine options, exit setting options, home page options, gesture and sonar option where you can create and manage your own gestures and under sonar settings you can activate or deactivate the shake to activate feature, choose different languages. Create shortcut on the home screen for a quick launch and when you exit this application, you get options to clear your cache, history and so on. So a very cool app with a lot of new features. The next one here is the Weather Love. Weather Love is a weather app with a very minimal yet a stylish UI. 
It also comes with a very stylish widget to give you information about the current weather. This app brings very detailed and a simple layout of current and upcoming weather forecast, wind information, time of the weather forecast, etc. You can search through weather of different cities by tapping here and you also can use OK Google for voice commands. And you can scroll through the weather of the whole day by scrolling down. And as you can see here, the whole information for the day is displayed here. Another cool feature is that you also get a current weather information on the notification bar. And if you slide down, you get current weather and weather up to next two days. So that's a great add-on. Next we have is widgets for this app, which is highly customizable. You get variety of widgets with this app with a lot of different sizes and a lot of options to customize it from font colors, shadow to background colors and many more. Then you can select the one that's convenient and as the bigger size you choose for your widget, the more detailed info you'll get about the weather. So with this app, you get a very minimal yet a stylist clock weather widget and it is really good if you want a change from the stock weather widget app. The next app here is Wattpad Beta. This app is a must have app for ebook readers and ebook lovers. You get a whole bunch of awesome ebooks from various categories for free. You need to sign up if you want to create your own library and add all your items there. But that does not mean you cannot access ebooks without signing up. If you sign up for this app, you get additional options and additional access to ebooks. That's it. On top, you can search for any of the books you want. Below that you have featured storybooks, other sections like stories you might enjoy, primetime reads, etc. At the bottom you have various categories like romance, science fiction, poetry, etc. so that you can get your ebooks based on these categories. You also have got options to choose your language. If you swipe from the left you have this sidebar where you have your library. Over here you can add your ebooks so that you can access it whenever you want, even if you are not connected to your Wi-Fi. Reading list, settings, etc. So a must-have app for ebook readers. The next one here is Water Your Body. Water Your Body is a reminder app that reminds you to drink water. As we all know, drinking water is very important for a healthy body. So it is very important that you drink sufficient amount of water. So with this app, you are reminded to drink water. When you start this app for the first time, you are asked to input your weight in two different units. Select the one that's convenient. I'll choose kilograms here. Then you need to give the unit for water measurement. I will choose milliliters and hit OK. So my weight is 75. And as I input my weight, it automatically suggests the minimum amount of water I should be drinking in a day. So let's hit OK. After that, it will ask for a default cup that I use for drinking water. So I use the 400 ml glass for water. So here you can see the current date on the top and your weight. And below that you can see how much water is consumed until this time. And by tapping on the cup icon, I can change the default cup. To add the amount of water you have consumed manually, just tap on the add button and you have the amount of water consumed saved on yourself. To delete all the saved records, you need to tap here. At the bottom we have other sections for water and weight chart, our log information and settings. On settings we have different options for backing up and restoring the records, clearing all the records, uh, cup settings, weight settings and so on. So you can set your reminder period so that each hour you will be notified to drink your water. A few days ago I was searching for this app, found it quite helpful, so thought of including it on my list. The last one for today's episode is 9gag. 9gag is a fun app. It brings jokes, trolls and other fun stuff from the web directly to your phone. It is simply the best source of happiness and awesomeness. You have this slider menu to select different categories. You can refresh by pulling down or tapping here. Tap here for notifications and tap on the add button to add your own content. On settings, we have options for safe mode, notification settings and theme settings. You also can apply this dark theme if you don't like the default one. You can lock your rotation, remember positions and so on. To share any posts, simply tap on the share button below that post. You can tap on the up icon or down icon to like or dislike the post. And to leave a comment, tap here. So a very fun app, you have this funny trolls, jokes, etc. It's a cool way to kill your time. So that's all for this video guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you like this video. and. 
do subscribe for upcoming apps and game videos and a lot of tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching once again and you guys have a great time.